Hey there, Dr. Alan Christensen here. Just wanted to take a break from writing and putting stuff together to cover some of your questions. I got some really good ones that came in and I'm always eager to take some time and help clarify for those for you all. This one came in from Nancy and this was, why does my TSH get too low when I take more T3, even though I still can't lose weight and my T3 scores are low? So this is one that Good question from those who are more, more technical, more aware about their thyroid labs and some of the nuances of it. And what's happening, it sounds like, is that if she takes more thyroid medicine, her TSH score gets lower, but her T3 won't get higher. So the TSH, that shows how much thyroid hormone is coming into your body. And that can be from what your gland makes or what you take in a pill. They both lower the TSH. Now, there's been a lot of data saying that TSH scores in healthy people are very different than the TSH scores in the normal reference range on lab reports. So you want to see that in a low healthy range. And most of the big studies have suggested that's about 0.4 to about 1.5 for a starting place. Some may need individualization, but as far as just general ranges in the healthy population, yeah, 0.4 to 1.5. So you don't want it lower than that. If it gets a lot lower, that means there's just too much thyroid hormone entering your body, and it seems that Nancy's aware of those concerns. If that's the case for too long, that can damage your heart, we can see the bones thin, and we can see stroke risk, uh, problems with the brain and short-term memory, really a big deal, something you don't want to be at risk for. So the paradox she's in is that apparently her doctor thinks that her T3 should be on the highest part of the range and he or she is trying to raise her T3 score by giving her more medicine. Now, when we measure T3 in a blood test, it doesn't measure the thyroid hormones that enter your body, actually. It measures how your body circulates thyroid hormones. So the difference is that if you get too much, you'll get rid of it faster. And oddly enough, if you're getting too much thyroid, that might make your T3 scores lower because your body's pushing them out more quickly. And the other sign that happens is your TSH scores get lower. So I have seen some authors who have said that, you know, if, if the TSH is low, meaning higher, meaning more thyroid in healthy people than the average range, many have thought that, well, if that's the case, then maybe the T3 should be higher in the normal range in healthy people. But it doesn't seem to be the case. When there have been studies done on populations that don't have thyroid disease, everyone doesn't have high T3 scores. That's actually not normal. There's a very large range of T3 scores in healthy people. And that's because the T3 is regulated by your body in a lot of ways. So you don't have to have the T3 scores high to be like people with good thyroid function. And if you do have them always high, you're probably getting too much thyroid hormone. And oddly enough, taking more thyroid hormone won't get it up there unless you're taking way too much. So how do you get your T3 higher and lose weight? You know, in a case like Nancy's, she might need less thyroid medicine. And that can seem really counterintuitive. Many understand that too little thyroid can cause weight gain. Guess what? Too much can also. You know, people that have too much thyroid hormone, they don't consistently lose weight. If they have ridiculous high overdoses, like many times above what's safe, they will eventually lose muscle mass and lose bone. But people don't get lean and healthy by being hyperthyroid. And in many cases, if you're a bit hyperthyroid, that might make you put on weight. What happens is your body becomes thyroid resistant and you block the extra by not using any of it and making your T3 scores lower. So in a case like Nancy's, you know, taking extra T3 by itself, like in a medicine called Cytomel, or like in compounded T3, I don't find that an effective strategy for people. I typically use natural desiccated thyroid, especially brands that are really free of preservatives and well standardized, like WP thyroid. It's got the T4, the T3, but also the T2, which is a good one for your weight. And when you've got a dose of it that's a good fit for you, you can have healthier T3 scores. So it's really not too much, not too little, but, but just right. And not trying to push the T3 on the high end of the range because that's just not an effective strategy. It isn't a matter of not trying hard enough or just trying it the wrong way. It's a matter of the strategy just not being one that's leading towards good long-term health. So great question, Nancy, and thank you so much.